What's up, YouTube? Sean here. And what we're looking at is the reboot of my 55 gallon do it yourself sump. DIY. So, this is like the fifth version of this sump. I'm kind of tired of all the silicone I've been going through, so hopefully, this one will work. So if you looked at my last video, one of the things you might have noticed is the issues with the acrylic. And what's been happening with the acrylic was that it wasn't given the support needed for this tank because the structural integrity um, on the top was taken out from the previous owner. So what I've done here is I've rebuilt the sump with some new baffles. And I'm using quarter inch glass. I got a nice little slant on the uh, first baffle. That slant will reduce the flow, reduce bubbles going into the refugium. The refugium is nice and large, so there's plenty of things to be done in there. Okay. And then I have the patented guard to keep the fish from flowing through. Also keeps macroalgae in. This is patented. So CJ's aquarium, stay away from it. I already got patented. Got my lures on it. And then underneath that, we also got the patented bubble trap tray. So between those two, there shouldn't be anything getting past this area. And that bubble trap is about three inches here, two inches there. You can see the, the, the beautiful styling of my silicone artisanship. And in that last chamber, I've got a return pump. Uh, this is a Mag 7. And um, I was talking with uh, CJ's Aquariums and Rico's Reef Tank and a couple other guys in the uh, Reef Talk channel the other day and uh, they suggested that I get rid of that um, built-in ATO container. It was kind of a waste of space that I could dedicate to the refugium and overflow purposes. So um, I'm all about following suggestions here, uh, seeing as I'm fairly new to uh, reef tanking and um, you know there's guys with more experience that know better than me so I'm going to just follow along with that so um, the baffles on this thing it's uh, 15 inches here on this baffle this this baffle is 14 and then this baffle is 13 and a half it's elevated and then this last baffle is 12 inches. So, by the way, if you're wondering about the uh, skimmer, this is kind of an oldie but goodie. It is a Aquacy EV 180. It's got the it's got the adjustable gate. It's got the uh, container to drop down the skim mate so that could be dropped in a separate container so yep everything's looking good so that's it We'll upload this video and uh, next thing I'll be doing is a water test.
All right, YouTube, so here we have a live water test going of the redesigned sump. And I got a couple issues. Really just one major issue is that this first baffle is not cutting the water going into the refugium. So I've got one level going all the way across to the second baffle, which is going through a, a patent, dropping down into a media tray, coming through a bubble trap, coming up to the return pump. So you can see what's happening here, is that I've got the correct steps up to this point, but this baffle is not tall enough. So I'm considering to uh, make a couple of adjustments. Number one, I could add another patent over here and add another one here. So actually duplicate this without the slots cut in it to keep the, the water level a little higher, right? And that will cut the water for me. Another option is to take this baffle, the first baffle out, and switch it to the second, which is shorter. And that would actually lower the second level going in. So I'm going to sleep on it and try to figure that out. But um, other than that, everything else looks like it's, it's working correctly. Uh, just, you know, I'm a little off. Um, CJ's Aquariums thinks that if I just run it with the skimmer, it could turn out that everything would be just fine and I'm probably overthinking everything. So we'll see. But, you know, just floating some ideas around. All right, well, thanks for checking out my video. I'll probably upload this one the way it is. And if I make any modifications tomorrow, I'll go ahead and film that. Thanks again. Please subscribe by hitting the clownfish button.